Oh, I'll tell you what. There's nothing more fucking annoying than people. Just people. Today, just for example, like my job, for example. I don't care if they fucking see this. I don't care what they do. You know, whatever. You got if somebody at my job sees this, so fucking well, go fuck yourself. You know, freaking my partner, my my one of my good friends. I guess he fucking dropped the ball today. He didn't. Yeah, you know, he had me pick up the job stack, so I pick up the job stack like a good employee, like I always am. I don't call in. I'm not a menace. I'm not a, a, a an attendance problem or anything like that. Okay, I do my fucking job and I do it well. You know, they wouldn't pay me what they pay me if I was just a shitty employee. I do my job fucking well. All right, you know. You know, so my yeah, so my buddy dropped the fucking ball, didn't call in. He told me, hey, take the job stack, and take take the data collector, and go ahead and uh, bring it in for me, please. Okay, no problem. I got your back. No problem. You know, apparently he doesn't call in. So I go inside the office and, you know, I says, uh, Joe, he says, where's Ted? I was like, what do you mean? He didn't call you? He's like, no. He didn't call in? He was like, no, is he out? I said, yeah, that's why I'm here by myself. So he gets mad and all the shit that Ted should be hearing, I catch. And, you know, it's not like it was a one-time thing. This guy does this a lot. He flips out and he talks to us like we're fucking pieces of shit. Like, I'll send a text message like, hey, I'm getting sick and tired of the fucking bullshit, guys. Look, I understand if you're frustrated and stuff like that, but a lot of the times it's sarcasm or you're sending a pissed off text message. It doesn't matter if there's a lot of people screwing up. You don't get their attention like that. If you want to talk to us, you talk to us in a, in a good manner. But, I mean, you know, whatever. I I, I I mean, I know I, I, I'm no walk in the park myself, but I always give everybody, everybody a chance first. And I always talk, you know, I always talk regular to them, you know, and I always, I'm always pleasant to somebody. Or I might sound like a wise ass a lot, but usually it's all in good fun is because I'm having fun with the person because I know the person or whatever, or we have that type of rapport. But, um, you know, catching shit from my fucking boss, you know. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? I got to cancel a bunch of jobs that you guys can't make. Them. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, 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 yeah, <laughs> you know, just a fucking asshole, man, just talking to me, and there's other people in the office, too, so now you just humiliated me, and you belittled me in front of other men, you know, I don't know how you guys do that down south here in uh, Virginia, and West Virginia, and Washington, D.C., but where I'm from, up in Rhode Island, man, you don't, disrespect is a big deal, okay, respect and disrespect, where I come from, is a big deal big, big fucking deal, you know, you hear someone talking to another guy, like, yo, you fucking asshole, motherfucking people, what the fuck's the matter, you fucking piece of shit, that's because nine times out of ten, or I'll even say eight times out of ten, they know the person that they're talking to with that, if they don't know the person, they're not going to really speak, to, it's a respect thing, it's where I'm from, respect is huge, you know, it just is, um, you know, but this guy, you know, he's got a lot on his plate. I understand. But, you know, you don't talk to me like I'm fucking half a fag or something, you know. And not dissing anybody who's gay, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know. Um, it's just not cool. It's not a cool thing to do. It's just, it's not, and it's not like it's a, if it was like a, the first thing or the first time or something like that. Oh, yeah, fine. That's no problem. You know what I mean? But I mean, all right, I got, yeah, you got, you know, you got a little carried away. You know, I get it. But, you know, it's been a reoccurring. Yeah. It's been a reoccurring thing. Um, it's been a reoccurring thing through text messages and, you know, it's just, I know the dude has a lot on his plate, but I mean, if you got a lot on your plate like that, maybe it's time to move on to something else. Well, and then, you know, I also hear that he's a partner, not only one of the bosses, but he's also a partner in the company. Well, if it's like I said, if it's too much, maybe you should collect your little money and get out. You know, don't, don't, don't feed us shit, you know, cause this is a job where we dedicate ourselves to this job cause we have no choice. You know, we are, you know, we work, you know, we work regular hours and stuff, but a lot of times it's overtime hours when it's busy, you know, you don't get home until late, you know, if you don't live by the office or the shop, the office, whatever you want to call it, if you don't live by there, you know, you drop off your stuff there and then you got to drive back to your house. 
some guys take their trucks home, some guys don't. But uh, you know, some you know. But uh, anyway, you know, we we dedicate a lot of time, a lot of time. You know, and he asks people to work Saturdays, and sometimes they shame, they even shame you. They'll call you up, and it's just like just like that office space thing. Yeah, they like that. They, that stuff still exists. He likes to shame you. My the owner of my company has actually called, and when I said I couldn't work a Saturday, he goes, "Oh well, that's a shame." Trying to shame me, trying to shame me for not working at your fucking punk ass company for a Saturday, which I barely get to see my family as it is, and now I'm an asshole because I, 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 it's a shame. It's a shame. Ma, ma, ma. Oh, it's a shame. Me, me, me. It's a shame, mama, ma, because I gotta fucking, because uh, I gotta fucking, because I, I want to spend time with my family. You know, I had a brand new daughter. I had just got my daughter. And I had no, and I, she's three now. And I, I remember there, there's no maternity leave for guys or anything like that. I know that it's gay if you ask for it. But I mean, um, I, I was, I didn't know if there was a new thing. Everybody being woke and all that bullshit. So I'm like, okay, maybe there's a. So I'm like, all right, okay. Maybe there is a thing that I could use or something. So I was like, is there any type of you know maternity leave or anything that for guys or anything, anything at all? You know, I'm just poking, you know, the way everything's all woke and all, you know, yeah, you gotta give everybody a fair shake and make it. But everything's like that, so I gotta, you know, so I asked and they said, uh, they said, we'll get back to you. So I'm like, all right, that probably means no. Or they're gonna come up with their own bullshit. So lo and behold, they get back to me and the boss is like, well, you know, the owner of the company's like, well, you know. He's like, you can take, he's like, I can give you five days paid. All right, or he's like, you can take two weeks unpaid, but you still get to keep your job. I'm like, what? So I'm like, all right. He was like, yeah, you can take the five days. He's like, now remember. I'm like, what? He's like, you don't have to take them all five days in a row. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? He goes, well, you know me. I'm like, what? He goes, well, I, 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 I want 10 crews to go out Monday morning. I'm like, oh. This is what I'm saying. This guy could give two fucks about your family of what you got might have going on. All he cares about is his jobs getting done. This is who I work for. It, all he cares about is his jobs getting done. I'm not going to say the name. I'm not going to say the name of the company, you know, because it's how I make my living. But, you know, and he's lucky a lot of us are still there, you know. Um... And he can say what he wants, and they can say what they want. But it's true. He's lucky a lot of us are still there. They do a lot of favors for us. Yes, they do. They do a lot of favors for us. But when it comes to be a pain in the ass, they are a pain in the damn ass. And when it comes to rubbing it in, like, we do a lot of favors for you. Oh, they rub it in. You know? Um. So anyway... So he's like, so you don't have to take him. So I'm like, well, well, I, well, he's like, well, you know me. He's like, well, you know me. I just, I, I immediately wanted to have hands go through the phone and just, just pop his Adam's apple like a zit and watch the life go away from his face. Just, I needed that. But you know me. I went ten kids ago on Monday. Yeah. Fuck my baby being born. Fuck my time with my brand new. Uh, infant who's having a little bit of problems because she had flu in her lungs. Yeah, fuck all that. You make sure my job gets done. Yeah. When you have your own company and you have money that needs to keep coming in, you lose all sight of hum you lose sight of humanity, meaning of, of what's humane. You want your company to grow. You want your company to be something than what you, bigger than what you thought it was going to be. So it's always just the company, the company, the company, the company. Just like in a, in a biker gang, it's the club, the club, the club. You know? And it's just, it's bullshit. But, uh, I'm t I, but anyways, I'm, I'm taking the funny out of it. So anyways, uh. You know, so yeah, so yeah, so so screw my screw my kid. I gotta go in and work that. So I went in, I went in. There's a speed trap ahead. So I, so you know, I went in. But anyway, long story short, you know, but uh, too late. But yeah, you know, and it's like it's it's funny too because you know you 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 you. It's funny too because you hear the you, you know he's just the owner has all these little gadgets and toys and it's like he's almost like a 
science fiction nerd and just it's and just just a civil war nerd and just I don't know man it's, it's funny sometimes to me and he always has this old type of car he pulling he's like Jay fucking Leno pulling it in an old car each time you know he's pulling it like hey you like my Stanley Steven <laughs> fucking guy fucking pulling in in an old time car dressed like the fucking Monopoly guy the fuck out of here man He's like, how do you do? It's like, dude, you weren't what you were a regular guy yesterday. What are you doing? Get out of here. You know. And just, I don't know. He's got a motorcycle too. And just for I don't know, for some reason, for some reason, I never thought someone I don't I didn't know how else to explain it, but when he rode a motorcycle and I was driving behind him, he drives a motorcycle like a lesbian. If that's any explanation whatsoever. You know, it looks like a lesbian driving a motorcycle when he's on it for some reason. And he's a man, so. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it is what it is. What are you going to do? In 1,000 feet, keep right at the fork to stay on I-495 North. Don't interrupt me, you little bitch. Anyways. Do they have to put a fucking woman's voice in there to fucking give the directions? Can you change that? Oh, my God. Right at the fork to stay on I-495 North. Oh, man. It doesn't have to sound like a Karen, too. I'm f waiting for her to say Continue yes. Continue on I-495 North for six miles. Yes, my name is Karen. Anyways, as I drive on this Capitol Beltway in this nation's capital. Um, so then I got the, you know, so I got the field coordinator feeding me shit with his clipboard. <laughs> I caught a bunch of fucking shit that my that my, my my coworker was supposed to catch. I know a few people will say, hey, that's the way it is, man, but it, it shouldn't be like that. Why do I got to catch shit for something I didn't do? I showed up. Dude, I live two and a half, you ready for this? I live two and a half fucking hours, like a two, two hours away from this office. It's a two hour ride to work, right? These cocksuckers that work there, this guy's there that work right around, they live right around the corner from the office and they come in late. They show up late. What the hell are you doing in the morning where you live around the corner from the office and you show up late? And don't tell me it's twisting one out because it doesn't take that friggin' long. You know? I just, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. You know? I'm always catching shit for stuff that's that I didn't cause. You know, I'm, I'm, I mean, did, am I paying dues for something that I did back? Am I paying dues? Am I paying dues for something I did back in the day? Yeah, I've done a lot of fucked up shit back in the day, so maybe I ain't paying some dues. But I mean, holy shit. Maybe I don't remember all the things that I did back. But, man. Yeah, so he's feeding me shit this morning. He's like, well, I got a guy. I got to fucking cancel this now since you, since you, you got, there's no, your crew isn't coming in. I got to put you with somebody else. Blah, blah. You know, this guy, remind, you know, this guy's been doing this for years. This guy's been doing this for years. You know, why he didn't actually call in or send the guy to text, send the boss a text message at least is beyond me. You know. Okay, you need to pick up that phone or send a text message throughout the fucking, throughout the hooker cigarette smoke in your fucking hotel room. And fucking call the boss and tell him that you ain't coming in. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be like Snoop and creep through the fucking creep through the fog. Dee dee da dee da. Yeah, be like Snoop and creep through that fucking hooker cigarette smoke fog and sticky carpet and freaking tell her to move her syphilis out of the way so you can use the phone and call into work. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, I'll tell you guys what. <sighs> My dreams are pretty much coming to it. I'm pretty much shot because I'm 46 years old now. And there's a lot of dreams I had that I wanted. Like, if you got dreams, follow them and go after them passionately. Because I did for a while and then I just stopped. And now I'm stuck back at the job that I had, which is a good job. They do pay me good money. which But I'm stuck back at the job that I started out with. When my dream thing didn't work out, you know. So that's why if you got dreams, follow them. You know, unless it's something fucked up. If you're, you know, if you're a fucked up person, if your dream is to like, you know, you know, 
go Epstein and live on an island with a bunch of fucking bullshit running around, you know, <laughs> if you want that, that's one thing, but, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I'm catching shit for stuff, something I didn't do, you know, and it's just, what am I supposed to do, what are you gonna do, this guy is fucking feeding me shit, you know, why don't you shove the clipboard up your ass, <laughs> you know, but, you know what, you know, I just, I don't know. Multitasking obviously isn't for men. You know, unless it's stuff that we're interested in. But women, it's so different with women. They can multitask and do everything. They got fucking, you know. You know, they got the, they got their cell phone under their chin. They're talking. They're doing something with their hands. They're picking up something with their feet. You know, they're fucking hammering nails in with their side of their head at the same time to get stuff. <laughs> so... I don't know, y'all. That was my rant. I just had to get that off my chest while I sit in this Washington, D.C. traffic. Two hours away from home. You know, I could have freaking... When, 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 my buddy did, when my buddy called in... Well, when my buddy didn't call in... Called in without calling in... Um, you know, I could have... You know, I could have been like, hey, I'm going to stay out too. And they, you know... But I showed up. And I'm the one who caught shit. You know, so if you got if you if you got a company out there, if you're a company owner, be good to your employees, man, because they're the ones who made you who you. If your company, okay, you hired people and they did a good job, and that's why you, the people you hired did a good job, and that's why your company became recommended. So if you think about it at the and I hate this and I hate this saying because it's so fucking repeated and it's so robotic and it's so fucking bullshit, but I'm I'm gonna say it, okay? At the end of the day. I'm going to say it. At the end of the day, your employees are what make your company. Because they do good work. Okay? People hear about it, and then they want to hire your company. So your employees are your bread and butter. Treat your employees better or fuck yourself. Or run it yourself. Okay? Shove a pen up your ass. and Shove a pen up your ass. Put a clipboard under your arm and fucking then do it yourself. Be good to your employees because, you know, if your employees are out there doing a good job for you, even if they don't want to be there, they're doing a good job for you. Hating life, but doing a good job because your punk ass name is on the company. And, you know, you all you guys out there going, you represent me when you're out there. You represent me. I sit behind a desk behind closed doors like Dr. fucking Claw, but you represent me. <laughs> You know, what the fuck, man? This is what I deal with. And I got like a little, and the, like I was saying, the, the owner of the company is like, he's already got these little, all these little gadgets and stuff. And he shows up like, look at all my money you guys are making me. <laughs> you know, he's just, you know, I just, dude, when he, he's like a little, just eh, a little, little over, like, like, like he, you know, he's like a little overlord and stuff, you know, and like when he walks into the room or he calls the phone, the fucking Doctor Who music starts. The Doctor Who music starts playing. <laughs> he shows up in a TARDIS. Hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, and the reason why I know it's TARDIS is because I got it wrong one time. And some science fiction fucking nerd, you know, Doctor Who fanatic. I was like, oh, yeah, the telephone booth they travel. He's like, it's a TARDIS. I'm like. Oh, okay. It's a TARDIS. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, faggot. I mean, I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's a TARDIS. I'll call it that from now on. Jesus. If I ever get lost. Anybody see a pay TARDIS around here? Did they even make pay TARDISes anymore? It's a pay phone. I'm sorry. I called it a phone. I caught shit by a fucking science fiction fucking nerd. Yeah, he matters. Anyways. Have a good day, y'all. That's my rant. Take it easy.